I want to give you at home a more direct sense of just how vicious and desperate this was first hand, okay, from someone who witnessed it and survived it in the most awful way. Lee Sassi joins us now. And Lee, uh, you were in a bomb shelter for hours. Uh, you lost your uncle. Uh, you believe your pregnant cousin was kidnapped and you had to find a way su to survive. Do I have it right? That's correct. Um, it was a nightmare. I can't even describe to you what I saw and what we've been through. Me, my cousin, Danielle Sassi, her father, Avi Sassi, a friend of ours, Alex, we ran when we were at the party. It was so much fun. It was the best first six hours of our lives and the worst six, the last worst six hours of our lives. Um, we arrived to the party and we were dancing and we were taking pictures and then we just saw up in the sky, it looked like fireworks and we realized that it wasn't fireworks and we ran to the car and as we ran, we were running with our cousin who came in, the, in a separate car and we um, went separate ways and I went with my uncle and my cousin, my other cousin. Um, and I remembered on the way to the party, there was a bomb shelter. So I remembered the direction of the bomb shelter. So I directed my uncle where to go. And the party where the party was located, it's on the end of Israel on the Strip of Gaza, next to the Strip of Gaza. And it's on a one way road. You can either go left or you can either go right. So when we left, we turned left. When we left the party, when we ran from for to survive, we left on, we turned left on the road and that was where all the terrorists were blocking the roads. So when we were trying to leave, you know, we noticed that the streets were blocked. So we went into the, we went into the bomb shelter. And when we entered the bomb shelter, there was about 35 people. We were all freaking out. I was not freaking out, but I was, I was very, I was in shock. I didn't know what was happening. I knew that there was rockets going up in the air, but I felt safe because in Israel, we have the Iron Dome. You know, it, it, no, most of the time it protects us. And so I wasn't freaking out. And I'm also not fluent in Hebrew, so I don't really know what's going on. I'm not really listening too much. I'm just trying to pray and I'm just trying to calm myself down. And um, apparently, Someone told someone in the group that was inside the bomb shelter waiting um, that in 20 minutes that there was going to be a terrorist attack. And when we heard that, everyone started freaking out. I personally didn't know what was going on. I just was waiting for it to calm down. And all of a sudden you see, um, you not see, you hear a couple terrorist guys walking into the bomb shelter as you enter. And the, 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 there was three people, our friend Alex, who came with us. He stood up front. He protect, He guarded the entryway of the, of the bomb shelter. And they immediately just started shooting at everyone who was in front. Maybe 10 people fell down instantly in front of my eyes. And then the second thing you know after that, they were throwing grenades. And when the grenade fit hell, fell, it, it blew up my uncle right in front of my face while he was protecting me. And that just happened at 8 in the morning. That was just the beginning. We were there until 2 p.m. Um, when, when my uncle passed away, I was in complete shock. I was there, but I wasn't there. I kind of, from all the noise that you hear from all the shooting and all the the grenades going off. There was an RPG. They threw my uncle at me. They threw. They threw a rocket in, on top of the on top of the, the bomb shelter. There was so much noise. I feel deaf in my left ear, but I'm so grateful to be alive. And this is why I'm here telling my story. We waited eight hours, not eight hours, like seven hours, which felt like an eternity. Every time that they were throwing Lee, rockets, they were shooting, they were laughing and they were excited. They were they were so excited in their voice and it was like joy to them. Like they were waiting to kill us. And my cousin who was pregnant, she went into a different bomb shelter 
and she's missing. And there's a video of her husband getting shot to death as he's running out of the bomb shelter. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.